All right, let's get practicing in QuickBooks Online. Grab the link below in the description so that you can follow along. Here we are in the QBO Gym. The QBO Gym is a place where we have numerous hands-on exercises that simulate real life scenarios that you may encounter as a bookkeeper. We come out with new exercises each month and break it down for you into four different sections. Today we are gonna be working in the March year one cardio section where we really focus on those basic skills. At the top here is an animated video to give you a synopsis of what you will be doing for Craig this month. He is our fictitious business owner. Further down is an interactive pre-assessment quiz. Below that are the exercises in this section. And at the bottom here is an optional area where after you have completed all of the exercises in this section, we do have some sample posts that you are welcome to use on your LinkedIn to share with everybody what you have learned so far. So let's go ahead and get started with today's exercise where we're going to practice sending statements to Craig's customers. Go ahead and click on that link to have it pulled up for you. I have it here on the right hand side. So let's th read through our scenario. Craig has several customers with overdue invoices. He'd like you to send them all statements showing the balance on their accounts, along with aging details so they can see how long they have been overdue. Let's see how to accomplish this. You will need to be in the sample company to do this exercise. If you are not sure how to get into the sample company or get your own free QBOA account, be sure to click on the link below in the description. I have the sample company up here on the left hand side. This is the dashboard and what it will look like once you sign in. So let's go ahead and get started with the exercise. From the left navigation bar, we're going to hover over sales and then select customers. So sales is over here, hover over that and then select customers. Now the first thing we're going to do is look at only the customers that have overdue invoices. So we're going to click on the orange overdue section and what this will do is just filter out all of the information down here at the bottom. We are only going to see those overdue invoices now. Let's go ahead and click on, a on the checkbox at the top of the column to select all the customers with overdue invoices. So that is right here, it's next to name. Go ahead and select that and you will see there are nine um, outstanding, or oh, excuse me, overdue invoices um, for customers. Let's do a batch action to make this a little bit easier on us. So click on the batch actions drop down and select create statements. That is right here, click on that arrow, select create statements, and you will get this page appearing for you. These are all of the customers that have those overdue invoices. Now there are three types of customer statements that you could send. After some discussion about this with Craig, he decides that he would like them to receive a list of all their open invoices. This will show the customers the total that they owe, list which invoices have yet to be paid, and show the aging of the balances. To, so to ensure that we are uh, sending the correct statement in the statement field, type field, we want to select open item. And this will show all of the information that Craig is looking for. So click that down arrow, go ahead and select of open item. You may get a pop-up, feel free to click out of that. Go ahead and click on apply so that it will um, now be that type of statement. If you want to see what it looks like, you would go ahead and click on printer preview. That is down here on the bottom of the black bar. Go ahead and select that. And you will see what it will look like for each customer. Now, at this point, you could go ahead and click save and send um, after we get out of this screen. Um, but since we can't do that here in the sample company, we're just going to exit out of everything. So you can go ahead and click on the X right here. Once again, there is that save and send button. You could click on that in real life scenario uh, to actually send it directly to the customers, but we're not going to send it here. So all you need to do is just click on the X to exit out of this screen. And that's it. That is how you would send statements. And if you have any questions or want to know more about the QBO Gym, just click on the link below in the description. 
we move through the cardio section with our next exercise where we practice customizing invoices. And I will see you in the next